everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania. Picking up right where we left off. Oh, listen to those jams. This game has some good music, man. So this is a Fleeman. They are a uh, notoriously annoying enemy because of that movement. However, they have an easy fix. If you turn around and whip just as they land behind you, the problem is solved. Bonemen are interesting. Um, I didn't really get a chance to show it off there, but they do... They only attack as far as uh, a certain point on the screen. They do not attack any further. Oh, God. This ghost, man. Thank you. Oh, God. So you can see that because of the health system that Castlevania 1 uses. Whoops. Because of the Castlevania 1 health system, there is one peg of the health left over, even though it still means you'll die in one hit. So, why am I playing Castlevania 1? Well, it's because I really do love this game. As a piece of game design, I think it's fantastic. There's so much in here that is still good, that still should be taught. Like, how every single enemy has their own way. Let's show it now. So, the Boneman only... He doesn't advance. See? He's not jumping at me to get me, and he only throws his bones to this position. Very rarely will he actually advance when his AI tells him to. And he's respawned because I, you know, killed him when he was off screen. But it's an interesting thing where the enemy is actually very defensive. You as Simon must become offensive and attack him. You gotta check for wall meat, man. It's the law. So, Holy Water is very good, as you can see. I'm kind of crying and peeing my pants here because uh, this is a very sketchy, dangerous part. There we go. Oh. I didn't know about that. And you can see there that... Uh, the Holy Water can also take out things. So I believe it might actually be from this point that enemies will start to kill us in one hit. Or maybe it's the door past this. Sorry. Uh, the further I go into this game, the less I know. Um, there are a few things in this game that I think could be better. For example, okay, no, we still got a little time. Crap, well, there we go. Hey, lucky us, we got a uh, checkpoint, though. Um, there are a few things in this game that I think are superfluous. For example, you may notice that towards the top of the screen, a little to the right... Oops. Thank you for helping me pick that up, sir. Uh, top of the screen, right... Sorry, my mouse isn't working. Right here, there's a timer. Um, almost never will that actually come into play. Very rarely will you uh, have a problem involving the time of this game. Oh, Jesus. Um, another thing that is a little weird uh, in some versions of this game, there are little spokes, little little lines uh, across the top of the screen. Uh, they're meant to be the spokes for a film reel, because this movie is based off of a lot of old horror movies. Which is the real reason why there's, you know, enemies like Frankenstein's monster. 
Because normally those people wouldn't all team up with Dracula, but, you know, it's all homages to classic horror movies. I think it's when we go inside that there's a uh, transition. Oh, Jesus. So as long as you don't have enough space between you and the bone pillar, you can uh, stop them in their tracks before they hit you by just whipping their projectiles. <laughs> oh, that's so sneaky. You... You motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> Jump and whip. I don't have my clock, so I can't do my clock stopper shit. You may notice that the whip's uh, hitbox is a little longer than the whip itself, which is mostly there as a mercy to you. Um, the whip also is able to... Okay, so there's a guy coming up. Clean. I was clean as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh god. Just keep machine gun whipping, Simon. Oh god, are you serious? That's the last. Yep. One moment, everyone. Hey, and I played back up to where I was. Um. So these guys are kind of a problem. The uh, classic video game trope of the double boss. They shoot those little raps at you. The primo way to deal with them is to get them bunched up and hit both of them, since you'll, you know, drain their life much faster. But they're honestly not too bad of a problem. All right, that's another level in the bag. So yeah, um, not bad at all. There are some, there are some cheap stuff here and there, but like the whole game is just like kind of made so you can play it with a whip and just go through. That said, I still think the mechanic of the leather whip upgrading twice very quickly and then going back to normal is very strange. Uh, here's a weird thing where Simon falls much further than you could survive in game. Oh, yes. I decided to, since I'm on emulator, I decided to turn on infinite lives just because I kind of have to record this in a relatively quick fashion. Hip. You'll see that it says P99. Um, and because the proof of... The proof of the fact that I can do... I'm, gonna, I'm still going to do it all in, you know, relatively quick fashion, but... It's just kind of um, something a little tedious for the game. Oh god. Actually, let me see if I can turn that off. I turned it off for that one because I just wanted to rush through it. Do, 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 do. Well, I just have to kill myself a bunch. Ah, well, my cowardice will show then. Oh boy. Egg on my face, huh? But yeah, one of the things about um, Castlevania is that it lets you have infinite continues. And the continues start you right back where you're on the same stage that you died on. It just does not allow you infinite lives. So if you die, you lose the checkpoint you have in the stage. And not the, um... Not the level. The only way to, you know, lose your progress in a fashion more so than that is... You have to game over and hit end on the, uh, screen. You have to crouch... <laughs> I 
I'm just... God, maybe it's because I turn on infinite lives, but I feel like... Uh... <laughs> oh god, my cats are having a brawl over there. They do this sometimes, you see. One moment, everyone. Hey, sorry, my cats were getting in a little fight. They do that quite often. Anyway, as I was saying, the mechanic that uh, Castlevania was one has involving its life continue system is... It's not, like, completely backwards, you know? I think it's very much a product of the time, though. Uh, I'm also interested in getting through this game in a somewhat timely manner. Since I've got to uh, record it myself. God, Jesus. Sorry, I don't know if I uh, pause the recording and unpause the other thing in the correct time. Okay. Uh, it's worth noting that one of the only things that Simon Belmont cannot hit is actually those bats. Not, you know, completely. But normally his uh, whip hitbox is actually very forgiving. Uh, but for some of those bats, he has to crouch. Otherwise, he will not hit them. Uh, which is another thing that I think is a mercy of this game. Yep. So yeah, there's quite a bit actually taken in this game to be nice to the player. That said, it is still a blisteringly hard game. Now we have Eagles. I believe these are actually called Altairs. Oh god. The more Eagles, man. Oh boy. And now we have the little dick whip. You know, I'm just trying to stop swearing in this LP. See, it's just this like microwave hallway that's full of fleeman. It's uh this is this is built to drain the player's health, you know? Like let's not kid around here. This thing is designed to exhaust the player's supply of health and lives and send you back to the start. That said, it can be done with the little whip. As long as your timing is good, you can hit them before they actually touch the ground and are able to start jumping. Uh, my timing is not good. Because this game's hard, and I've only had so much time to practice. Uh, me and my wife are actually doing our taxes this weekend, so... Been doing all that stuff. This is the first skeleton snake dragon head from the wall. I think they're also just called skeleton dragons, but you can also just uh, ignore them. Okay, I think this is the transition to all enemies dealing four hearts of damage. Uh, if we get one hit killed by the upcoming enemy, we'll know. Yep. But, of course, there is also a checkpoint here. Uh, 
I love how when they die, they drop all these hearts. Sorry, I was trying to think of something to say, but nothing came out. If you're good, you can... Oh, God. <laughs> if you're good. Big if, eh, Al? So it is a uh, kind of a madhouse to do the upcoming boss fight without holy water. Uh, the technique used to animate the snakes is actually something that was used a lot in the SNES era. Um, where the enemy is a bunch of little sprites. As you can see, his spine is actually comprised of all of the same sprite six or seven times. Come on, holy water. Really, huh? Oh, great! So, we cannot damage the Fleeman. Only, uh, Mr. Uh, Frankenstein here. Or as he's called, the monster. One moment. Hey, we're back, but because I'm bad, I took hits, so... I don't foresee great uh, things for this fight. So yes, you cannot damage the Fleeman, only stun him. And you are only allowed to hurt uh, Frankenstein's monster. Uh, Holy Water makes this fight a joke. For whatever reason, Holy Water makes the game, like, ridiculously easy. Oh, there's the wall chicken. Yes, for whatever reason, the construction of this game is such that Holy Water just cheeses pretty much every fight. There we go. Perfect. It's also worth noting that this is one of the hardest fights in this whole game. Ain't that fun. So you've got to avoid all the little fireballs. Jesus. Hey, and I'm back. So it's possible to get about um, almost 40 hearts in the level part of this. You can actually get more for whipping... Um... Oh, jeez. You can get more for whipping uh, the dragon fireballs. Oh, jeez. That was embarrassing. Okay. Like, the Fleeman is just so aggressive. And like, it's so difficult to jump him. That was my best attempt yet, though. I uh, started the fight before actually unpausing my recording, so let's see if I can... No. Oh, jeez. Dude, the way that you just take four hearts of damage is so demoralizing. Like, it is just so legitimately painful to just take that much damage. Now I'm getting mad. Like, I'm getting salty. Alright. Hey, a bag of money. Great. Son, please. Th 
That was amazing. Alright, couldn't avoid it all. That was pretty good. The knife's damage is mediocre, but it does allow you... <gasps> Dude, the fireball was right here, and I was like, no! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, that's a level. That's uh, another two, in fact. Um, this LP's going a lot quicker than I expected. Uh, cheating helps. Turning it up to all the lives uh, really helps. I was going to say, I really like how the uh, boss health is always depicted on screen. Um, hey, that's another level in the bag. Um, only lasted two episodes so before resorting to cheating. Uh... This game's blisteringly difficult, and I am on a bit of a time crunch, otherwise I wouldn't. But, uh, I leave you with this one. I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye.